so many weeks of hard work, finally we have come to the integration of our audio amplifier system. For the past three weeks, we have looked at the characteristics and the performance for each individual subsystem, which is the VCA, the PA, and the VU meter. So we would like to connect these terminals together. So I believe this is what you have built over the past few weeks. And there are some important things to note. Ensure that the groundings are all separated, especially for the PA system, and also check all your connections again before connecting to the Elvis device and running your VI. So let's start for today's lab. First, let's change the frequency to 300 Hz, and whereas for the amplitude, please refer to table 1 in your lab sheet. The last digit X should be your matriculation number. So for VC, we will change to 1.5 and we will run the VI, the function generator and the oscilloscope. To have a better view of the waveform, adjust the time division and voltage division scale. To ensure that you get the right signal, the frequency for both channels must display 300 Hz. So record down the audio output voltage and we'll move on to the second example when the amplitude is 0 0.05 and the VC is 0. Every time when you change the amplitude, please also change the time division and voltage division scale. As for the last example, we'll change the amplitude to 0.15 and VC to negative 1 volt. You'll be able to observe that the waveform has been distorted. So with that, you'll want to write down these findings and provide explanations for why the waveform is distorted. With that, plot the graph of the gain versus VC and justify whether the output performance of the audio amplifier system meet the desired objective. Likewise, you can also change the frequency to 100 kHz and then explain your findings.